Hey everyone, I'm Lydia Halley, and today I'll be talking about some exciting new features that got added in version 9.5, namely the rewrites and the redirects options that we can now add to our next config file. These features make it much easier to incrementally adopt Next and to just get more control over how your content gets served and where I get served from. So first, let's talk about redirects. If you've been using Next in your projects for a while, you may know that adding custom redirects to your website can be kind of a pain. For example, if you wanted your users to be redirected to team when they hit the old about endpoint, you could do that by either setting up a custom server that handled the redirect or set up a custom error page and check if you had set any redirects for that specific path. But the fact that you needed to have a custom server meant that the built-in serverless optimization is no longer applied. And if your application needs several redirects, it's really just not very scalable and ergonomic. Luckily, the new redirects feature makes this all so much easier, since all we have to do now is add a redirects field to redirect users to the right destination while still making sure that all of Next built-in optimizations are still enabled. In order to add a custom redirect to your website, you can add the options to the redirects array by specifying the incoming request path in the source field, the path that you want to redirect to in the destination field, and a Boolean value in the permanent field that specifies whether this redirect should be a temporary or a permanent redirect. Now, when a user tries to hit the old about endpoint, they will automatically be redirected to team instead. You can make the source and destination field as flexible as you want, since they also allow path matches, wildcard path matches for nested routes, and regex. Redirects are really useful when you want to display newer content on an old path by switching the URL. However, in some cases, we actually don't want this URL switch to happen. We just want to serve content that's located elsewhere. In that case, rewrites can help you out. A rewrite allows you to control the source of the content that gets served based on the incoming request path. By default, Next will look for the file in the Pages folder that matches the current path. However, we may want to serve contents from a file that's not at that exact location, which could be the case if you renamed a folder or a file, for example or even if you want to serve content that's located at an external URL. For example, your old website that you're currently rebuilding in Next. Configuring a rewrite is almost identical to how we set up a redirect. We only have to specify the incoming request path in the source field and the destination from which we want to serve the content in the destination field. In this example, Next won't try to find and serve the contents of the file that's located in the blog folder but it'll serve the file located in the news folder instead. And unlike a redirect, the browser isn't aware of the fact that the content got served from a different destination. So to the user, there is no difference whether Next served the contents from a local file or an external URL. The fact that you can point to external URLs is incredibly useful when you're migrating a website to Next, but you don't want to have to rebuild your entire application before being able to launch it. Let's say you have a beautiful existing website hosted on website.com that's currently built in PHP, but you want to rebuild it in Next. It contains a home page, a team page, and a products page that contains quite a lot of business logic that would take a while to migrate. It would already be very beneficial to initially just have the home page rewritten in Next, and then rewrite the team page and the products page in Next later on. We obviously can't just launch the website without the products and team page. So instead, we can create a rewrite rule that serves the content from our old website's team and products endpoint whenever the user hits our new website's teams and products endpoint. Now, when the user hits the home page, which has already been rewritten in Next, Next just serves the contents from that local file. However, if the user hits one of the endpoints for which we have a rewrite rule, Next fetches the contents from the external URL and serves that instead. So throughout time, you can slowly rewrite your entire application in Next without making any breaking changes to your deployed website. As you can see, the new rewrites and redirects options make it so much easier for you to control the content that gets served to your users while still making sure that we're using all of Next optimizations. If you want to know more about the possible configuration options and the best practices, you can find more information in the docs for the Next config file. Thank you so much and have fun coding.